What up, though, Pride Nation? Welcome back to another episode of Luke G's Fear Review. We are reviewing Reggie Raglan. Um, so I don't want to take make this video too long. We're going to get right into it uh, and hop right into the film study. Right here, people, is Mr. Reggie Raglan. Um, and so, you know, I just want y'all to be pay close attention to him. Um, he, you know, this is a guy that's not getting a lot of a lot of playing time. Like I don't I don't know what's going on, but he's not getting a lot of playing time. Um, you know, which it, it's it's strange. He's not alone in this in this uh this this lack of, of snaps and stuff. Um, he's only accounting for about forty one percent of the snaps on defense, which is one hundred and thirteen snaps. Um, which again is two less than Jared Davis. Like they just literally wrote these two off. Like whatever all right anyway he's right here uh let's see what he do when the play gets gone um listen that that's good that's good stuff right there you hear me let's go back a little bit and and and, and i'm gonna show you what jumped out to me immediately when i looked at it now again he's right there let's show you what i see right here look at this this guy's going to try to chop block him he's going to do it perfectly like the drill teachers put him on the ground Boom, make the play. You cannot ask for anything better than that. All right, so he's right here now. All right, and, you know, <sighs> why are they not getting snaps is beyond me. But look at this. Just This is not no running the mill left tackle, people. That's Armstead. This ain't just some average running the mill left tackle. He completely avoids the block. Completely avoids the block. Now, you would like to see him get in there a little bit closer, but he gets in there, gets a grab, and is pulling back. Like, I, how is he not getting those snaps, people? Let's 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 finish watching. All right, so he's right here. All right, um, I, <laughs> people, the more and more I watch this, the film of our players, the more irritated I get with leadership's inability to see this and tell the person responsible to kick rocks but look at this people look at this he just he just does it he does he, I, I just don't understand this look right here He literally had to wear all to see that, oh, it might be a pitch, but he's got his eyes on the ball. He bit for a second, but he got his eyes on the ball. And he runs in to help out with Jamie Collins for the tackle. Good stuff from Reggie Ragland. All right, he's right here. And this might be the best play he's had all season um, that I've seen on film. Um, just, I don't understand why he's not getting more snaps, but just pay attention to this. This is a piss poor attempt of a block. There was some type of miscommunication. I, I gotta believe that. Because this dude, our guy Reggie Raglan, comes clean in. But look how he turns the corner on, on Drew Brees and gets home. Like he don't just do it. He turns the corner and gets home. Um this block. I, I don't know what was going on with this, where the mis miscommunication came at. Um, Caesar Ruiz pulls. He's supposed to block down, and he didn't, and we we benefit from it. So again, you can see early on that this guy is worth worth having more snaps, but yeah, he's not getting. Okay, it. so right here, here's Reggie Ragland, and I'm just gonna be honest with you, people. At this point. If you've already seen my uh, Christian Jones video, you would know that this Reggie Raglan video, they look night and day. He looks like he's faster to the point of attack, like he's processing information faster. Uh, but let's look at it right here. He's right there. And I just, I'm just, I'm amazed at what I'm seeing um, because he's, he's, look at this. First of all, did you see that, that move he put on him? Look at, is this not illegal? You can literally see the guy's full hand all on his thigh. 
Like, is this, this is clearly them trying to hold, right? The worst part about it is, is this, people. I'm trying not to rent. Um, again, we we just going we gonna acknowledge that we got my man's up here playing a role that Isaiah Simmons would have fit perfect for, but that's none of my business. That's none of my business. Anyway, he beats the blocker and explodes to the runner. Explodes to the runner. You just just the look at this in full full speed, full speed. Look at this. That quarterback slash receiver and, and tight end can't do nothing with me. Let me go get this. It just looks different. Why is he not getting snaps? I mean, here's a guy. Here's a guy who's sitting up here with 113 snaps. 113 snaps in four games. Four freaking games. That's his snap count. Like, what is wrong with this pitcher? He got 10 total tackles, five solo Five assists, one tackle, four loss, two quarterback hits. Like, I, why is he not getting more snaps, man? Let's keep watching. All right. He's right here. Okay. That's him. Um, I, I'm amazed at this film. I am. I'm amazed at this film. And look at this. Get off the blocker. Get home. Get off the blocker. Get home. Let's keep going, people. All right. So now we are in the Cardinals game. He's right there. Arrows all on him. I want you to not miss nothing about him. Um, and we just watching this film. Um, here we go. Yep. Get back in there. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my God. This is hard for me, y'all. Y'all don't understand. I need to do a whole defensive video. This is hard for me. Let's just let's just keep going. All right. Here's our guy right here. All right. That's him. Um, people, y'all gonna see a theme out here, and it's frustrating. It's very, very frustrating. But he's right there. Um, look at this. The block comes to get a good th that that tackle need prayer. He. Who is this tackle? I got to figure out who is 74. Who is 74? All right. This is what I need to know. Who is 74 on the Cardinals? Because this dude has got to be the most underwhelming, lackluster um, tackle I have ever seen. Like, I would be mad as a Cardinals fan. Like, seriously. Like, that's how bad it was for me. Like, I would be irritated. Who, who? Who is this guy? Like, I'm going to figure this out before this video. I'm going to figure out who this is because I've seen a number of different uh, films that I did where this guy just does not seem to have it going. But anyway, this is not about that guy. It's not about him. This is about our guy, Reggie Ragland. And I just want you to be able to see where this guy is coming off Engaged with the blocker. Um, he could have been a little bit more aggressive, but hey, it's okay. He's 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 a little bit patient, whereas I'm I'm probably impatient when it comes to my my progress progression. Um, and what I want to see, that's DJ Humphreys. That's who that is. That's DJ Humphreys. Now, right here, he gets off the block. DJ Humphreys just give up on the play. The play ain't even over. He's like, oh snap, we still running the ball? Yes. Because if you keep your block. He's getting more yards, but because he was lazy, he he just and he get off. You got backside pursuit from Jelani Tavai, and he's right there. So I mean, DJ Humphreys, man, you know he got his butt chewed out in practice. All right, so again, we got our guy right there, as indicated by the arrow. Um, you know, just limited snaps, but making the most of them. Um, I definitely think his and Jared Davis snap count should be up. Um, I mean, but <laughs> this is what we're dealing with, people. This is what we're dealing with in the Matt Patricia era. I know there are still some fans who still support him. More power to you. Uh, right here, I like that he put a hand on the tight end because what that does is it lets the tight end know that you're there. But he's also keeping his eyes on the, on the quarterback. As the quarterback pitches that ball, he's trying to keep an eye on that to track it. And then he comes down. 
uh, after the uh, at the Jared Davis. It looked like Jared Davis. He spent off of Missy. Um, I should have probably just put it in slow mo, but it's all good. Um, so Jared Davis gets in there, and 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 surprisingly, man, this dude has amazing balance because he took his feet directly from him, and it was enough that he put a hand down. <laughs> He put a hand down and, and and while in the middle of a spin to keep his balance. And thank God that Reggie Ragland came in and uh, cleaned that up. But, man, now a lot of y'all would sit there and say, well, if he wrap up, uh, that don't happen. But, bro, you, come on. Come on, people. Y'all know how this go. Sometimes you're just trying to get them down by taking their feet from underneath them, and it, it doesn't work out in your favor. But let's see what we got from Reggie Ragland uh, a so little bit more. So, Ragland is right here. Okay, um, and to me, this is a guy you definitely want to put as a spy on most quarterbacks, him or Jared Davis. Why they keep putting people like Christian Jones and 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 Trey Flowers on quarterback spies is beyond me. But whatever, I don't know nothing. Uh, obviously, I'm not in the NFL. I'm just a fan. Um, but I've played this game, and there's some things you just don't do. Now, right here, what's beautiful is he does not lose track of the quarterback. He does not. Now, the quarterback gets pressure, right? That's Trey Flowers. As soon as he sees Trey on backside pursuit, he hauling off. And look at this. This is what you want to see, okay? Now, they clearly called it an incomplete pass. But I'm going to show you something that is irritating my spirit because when I first saw this, it's bothering me. And if you're looking at my screen froze, you will see what, I, what, I'm, what I'm upset about. Let's go back to the game against the Kansas City Chiefs. And do y'all remember when we had a fumble by Kerryon Johnson? All the players thought the play was over, and they literally did not pay attention, and the guy runs it back for a touchdown, right? So he made a good play, right? We don't know if that ball could be considered a fumble or not, whereas where 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 we can say that it, his arm was going forward. But notice Trey Flowers and Reggie Ragland right here. They are already celebrating. They dabbing it up. Dab, dab, gang, right? Look at this guy. He's already like the play is over. He's like the play is over. He's like the play. This Dasmin True Font, the play is over. That, uh, this Deron Hartman, play is over. I don't know who this is, but the play is over. Only Tracy Walker. <laughs> oh. Who probably remembered that play from Kansas City very well, decided to treat this play like it was not over. Nobody is running with Tracy Walker, people. They're running off the field. Tracy Walker makes sure that he runs this thing all the way to the end zone because he remembered what happened in that Kansas City Chiefs game. There is no excuse. For me to see people celebrating that the play is over, I don't care. I don't care. I I went back and watched the live version of this a number of times to see if I heard a whistle. I didn't even hear a whistle. They didn't call a whistle until he was damn near by the end zone, right? This is when they finally blew the whistle. But before that, they had not blew a whistle. So number 97, which I believe is Nick Williams, um, what are you doing? Trey Flowers, Reggie Raglan. What are y'all all doing? Look at this. Look at this. And then the worst part about it is, is this. This how I'm going to show y'all, because I know sometimes y'all think I just say stuff to be saying it. You know that the, that the official was running with him. Because <laughs> nobody blew the whistle. Nobody blew the freaking whistle. And hear it. Uh, listen. This is a video about Reggie Ragland. I'm going to stick to that, but I had to point that out. This is a lot of these flaws that you're seeing from this, this, this coaching staff is flaws from the coaching staff. A lot of it is player execution, but if he's, if he's trying to breed a certain change in culture, this should not be acceptable. So kudos to Tracy Walker. So here's my final thought. Reggie Ragland is, is, is a player that that's worth getting some respect. He's he's played well enough in his limited snaps to get respect. And the Detroit Lions have failed him. They they really have. They're not give the, they're not giving him the snaps and opportunities to do it, and he's performing. And to me, 
when you're when you're sitting up here looking at this and you're asking yourself why is these things happening why are these things occurring just just know that there's a bigger problem here um to me he's a guy that needs to i need to see more playing time from i think if he gets more playing time he performs totally different he plays totally different if he gets the playing time um but that's that's the case um a guy with 10 tackles and, and, and limited snaps, I'm telling you, these things tell me a lot um, when, I, when I'm watching it. Because like I said, this 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 is textbook stuff. He is not a player that's bad. We're just not getting him in position. But y'all tell me, excuse me, y'all tell me what y'all think. Is is this a, uh, a bad example uh, of coaching? Is, it, is the player not impressing you in the film that I showed? Um, mind you, this is just the first four uh, games that the Lions have played, um, and he's only played in a hundred and what thirteen snaps. So, hundred and thirteen snaps is all he played in. Um, but y'all, let me know. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, notification bell, and um, you know, comment down there. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, and as always, don't be no chump, please. Please do your research.